Hey you guys, it's your girl Jean Carter and I'm back with you with another video. Hey, so today I'm just doing a full cut crease video. I already did one eye. Actually, we'll get to that after my intro. So if you want to see a cut crease, it's going to be a blue silver cut crease. I think it's going to be cute. It's over here. Then keep going. And if you don't want to see the cut crease, then you exit stage left. Okay, you guys. So I'm going to take off my glasses. And as you guys can see, I already did my cut crease over my right side because I just want to experiment to see how it's going to turn out because I get scared. And before I think it's more easier, oh my god, my rings are coming off my finger! Okay, that was like, so scary. By the way, I did it over here because I feel like it takes a lot more time to do it on camera, especially if I don't know what I'm doing. So I always like to see what I'm doing first and then I can copy. So I'm going to do it on camera to show you how I got this beautiful blue silver wing cut crease and how I'm going to show you right now. Alright, so the palette I'm going to use to create this beautiful cut crease will be the James Charles palette and the Elf 18 Waters. I'm going to take the beautiful silver because I don't need to cut the crease basically. So when I do a cut crease, I don't really cut my crease too often because I kind of do it neatly. So it takes more time to do my cut crease because of that, but I don't mind it. So I already primed my eyes with, this is here, yes, the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define in C12, like I usually do. And let's begin this cut crease. So I'm going to use the small, I think this is a detail brush, but I don't, it could be a lip brush. It's, it, it's it's my Ray Ray brush number 9 and I'm going to take this light blue color right here. I'm just only using two colors to create this cut crease. It's this color and this color just to deepen it. So let's begin. Like I said, I take my time with it. Like only do this type of cut crease if you have time, honestly. Because how I do it is... I really do take my time so I won't have to cut the crease basically. All I have to do is just do it nice and easy, take your time, and you don't have to cut the crease with any concealer. But usually people do cut the crease just to get the maximum impact of the um, shimmer. But I didn't feel like it because this shimmer is amazing so I don't have to worry about that. So let's cut this crease. I'm thinking of zooming you guys in when I do this. so. You guys can see what I'm doing, so I'm definitely I'm gonna zoom it. But let's do this. So when I do my cut crease, hopefully matches this side. I do it up more because I'm I have double lids. My table, so it's more I need a new one. So I'm gonna take it up. I have a crease here, so I'm gonna take it up that crease. And I'm just gonna do a line. A mark a demarcation where I want it to be really nice and easy and take a little bit more to do the wing and I feel like having tape helps a lot when I do this so I can see where the tail is going to end you don't have to make it too dark because you're just gonna blend it out and then after you get everything, you can do it again so you can see the line of demarcation. So, so far I think these are pretty even. But honestly, I hate concealing because I can't do it. I'm gonna take this brush, this is my e.l.f. blending brush. I'm going right back into the same color. And so you could just blend it up. You blend that right on the line and above it. And I don't blend underneath it. I blend on top. I'm not really good at cut creases, honestly. I don't know why. I feel like this tape. I want to make a little bit more. I mean, my tape a little bit more. I realize I need to make it my wing a little bit longer. 
Okay, once I got to the color I want, I feel like this is higher than this one. I always feel that way. It's so annoying, like, I can always get this one really nicely, and the other one I can't. But I'm going to take the same brush, because that's what I did before, and I'm going to go into that deeper blue, just to deepen it up a little bit. And we're going to go right on the line, like we made before. And then we're going to go up above the crease. Okay, I think this is perfect and I'm going to take back that detailed brush like I did before. I'm going to go right back into that light blue and I'm going to um, trace the line like I did just to deepen it so you can see so you won't have to cut the crease. So basically I'm cutting the crease with the blue eyeshadow instead of the concealer. Next, I'm going to take this brush right here, and I'm going to go into a light color, like a brownish. I'm going to go between these two right here. One is like a flesh color, both of them are like a flesh color, and I'm just going to buff out the edges so they can look nice and seamless. One eye is always bigger than the other, and I want to say this eye smaller, or this eye bigger, this eye smaller. I'm not too sure sometimes. All right, I'm going to take the tape off because it gives me a really nice precise line. And I have a little cotton swab. And I have, what's it called? My saw water. And I'm going to try to get all the tape, sticky tape off because when you do foundation and highlighter, and if you don't take it off, It'll be your worst nightmare like you'll have the line of demarcation of where the tape is oh you see that nice cut crease where you don't have to do um concealer it's so much more easier you might as well just take your time and do it it's it's, it's, it's the, i don't know if it'll save you time but to me i like it because like i said i do not like to carve up my cut crease so it takes too long and i feel like it's too much product on my eyes so it will get oily quicker that's what I think so I'm gonna take this beautiful silver called Vibe vibrant from the elf 18 wonders palette which is I really love and the shimmers are really nice especially this silver because I don't have to do too much with it all I have to do is just pack it on when you get to that crease make sure you have a flat brush so you could get in that crease really nicely you can make a nice line one nice curve of your eye so you could get a better so you can see the cut crease more better I feel like I've done like a lot of blue looks but I love blue blue is a really nice color on blue is a really nice color on me so I tend to do things that look good on me it looks like really different but I'm not mad so now I'm gonna put liner on I did like a just a nice thin layer of it and we're gonna follow the cut we're gonna follow the line of the tape to make that nice thin line and I have this Essence Super Precise Eyeliner Long Lasting and Waterproof. So what I first did was line my lash first, my lash line first. By the way, if you guys hear a noise, it's my ceiling fan because it's getting warmer now where I live at. I live in South Jersey, so it's getting super warm. Like 70s, yesterday it was 78. It's around 70 now, so it's getting a little warm in my room because I shut my door. So it gets really hot. So I have to have the fan on, so I'm sorry if it makes noise, but it's going to have to be for majority of the summertime. Especially if you want summer, because I'm going to be so hot. 
Okay, after that, you find the line. Good, good. Oh. There we go. Do you make the other line for the wing? Usually to like color my wing, I get my other liner because it's thicker. But this is not too bad. And there it is. I feel like this is so much better than this one. I'm so sorry that they're not even, but this still looks nice. All right, you guys. So I'm going after this cut crease. I'm going to come back. I'm going to finish my whole face, and then I'm going to do my bottom, my bottom, my bottom lash line. So I will be right back, you guys. You guys, I am back with my full face on minus my highlight my lips and my lower lashes so we're going to do them right now so the first thing i'm going to do is grab my palette which is on the floor cool so i'm going to take my james charles palette and i'm going to use this beautiful it's my ray ray brush in number seven i'm going to take um should i take the light blue or the dark blue i'm going to do dark blue and then i'm going to do the light blue underneath just to blend it out more so I'm going to take a dark blue and go right underneath. I feel like everyone makes this face like... Till I drop this video. Because it is a gift. Not this one, but the video I'm dropping today. Which is Friday. <laughs> the, the 17th? No, the 19th. And I can't wait to drop this video. Because it's just me being quite personal to you guys. Things that I don't really talk about. And I hope you guys take it pretty well. It's nothing too bad. It's nothing bad anyway. It just mean, it's just me being honest about certain things. And just like telling the world about myself that how I felt when I was younger and of course today I'm not gonna get into it but there's something if I wanna talk like you'll see this video that I'm filming now on Monday so it'll be kinda like old but sorry but I just can't wait till you see it which is already out now Technically, I'm actually going to use the same brush because I don't have another brush. I'm going to use the same brush with the light blue. I'm going to go right here underneath. So I'm excited but also nervous because I really don't open myself up too much. So it's unlike anyone putting things against me. It's weird, but that's just how I am. I'm a very proud person. So, to do that video, like, get ready with me chit chat, it's kind of like a step in the right direction for myself. I don't get too personal, but, you know, just open up a little bit to you guys. There are people who know me more, too, or who knows me, they get to see more about me. I really smoke this out. Like... But I like it. I really did smoke it out. I'm kind of happy I smoked this so much. I'm thinking about putting the silver in the middle. I mean, in the inner corner. But I think I'm going to put... I don't know. So I'm going to take my white liner. This is the NYX one. This is the pure white. The slide on, glide on, stay. And I'm going to put this in my waterline. I don't really put anything in my waterline too much. And I think this is the first time you guys get to see me put something in my waterline because I really don't do it but today I want to hopefully it shows white's really good too to make your eyes look bigger just the amount of weight it showed up pretty well looks like my eyes are huge which I kind of like because the blue will condense my eyes and the white will brighten them as well I was going to put silver actually yeah flat brush okay my lipstick can fall today 
it's quite all right. And I'm gonna take Vibrant when I have on my lid color. I'm just gonna put it right in my tear duct. I love this palette. I think I recommended it. And this, this that video that I uh, uploaded for, is it a one hit wonder or is it a, something? I have like 120 views on it, which I'm really happy about. I'm so happy. I didn't think this was gonna be quite that, you know, views. I mean, it's not a, like a lot, a lot, but to me, it's a lot. You know what I mean? Cause I didn't think of that. I'm happy it came up like that. Like, I'm sure there's someone who has like a million views on it or like a hundred thousand, but a hundred to me is a lot, you know? Especially that I just started YouTube like two months ago. Mm, let me see January, February, March, April, around four, three months ago. So it's, 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 it's really nice. And especially I put this up to like. I think a couple months ago that's what I'm gonna say I'm gonna do my lower lash lower lashes I'm gonna probably edit this out like I normally do because it takes forever how I do it so yeah okay let me fix my shirt all right so we're gonna highlight with the Nicole Grow by Anastasia but I'm so gonna by Nicole Grow basically and I'm gonna take the light color because I'm in that mood. So we're gonna take Barbara Lit. Usually the light frosty ones aren't kind of for like my complexion, but I don't really care. I really don't go with it, even though I like my bronzes and I like my golds. But I also like the light colors. I feel like it goes with a certain amount of my looks. Sometimes it does look gray. Or if it looks ashy, then, you know, I'll take it off. But I don't think this looks ashy on me. And this brush, it's such a great brush. It doesn't put too much on, which a lot of my brushes do. Like, my fan brush kind of puts a lot on. And then I look, well, I kind of don't mind a lot, but sometimes it's too much for me. I can't believe I'm saying that because I love highlight. But look at that highlight so pretty even though it's not a highlight video but it's so pretty i just want to put it everywhere i'm gonna put it on my nose even though i don't like it on my nose because my nose looks super oily but we won't do it anyway ah so Oh, my hair like popping today, especially with the blue. It's super like frosty. Maybe I might say that frosty. I don't know. I'm a weirdo. All right, so for my lip today, I'm going to do black because that's what I wanted to do, actually. I want to do black. I feel like it looks really nice with the look. I hope. I really didn't think this through. Yeah, I really didn't think this through, but I may put the little white on it or the silver. So, okay. I'm gonna line my lips with black, even though I just started. And this is the same pencil like um as the white one by NYX. I really can't wait to get my hair done. May 4th, coming quick. It is coming quick. I graduate too. How awesome is that? I'm so excited. So for the black liquid lipstick, I'm using the NYX Liquid Suede. Actually, this is in, it's not in black technically, it's in Alien. I used this, I only wore black once on my video, and it was the anti-valentine one. And I put glitter on top, like a purple glitter that matched my eye look. It looked really nice. I can't wait to film tomorrow, which is Saturday. I'm filming with my best friend. I'm so excited. That'll be up next Friday. 
and it's not gonna be too much we're gonna put our makeup on previous and we're just gonna oh this looks so good anyway and we're just gonna answer some questions with each other so i'm gonna do five questions and she's gonna do five questions and then we're gonna switch like bowls and my questions are gonna be for her so she has to answer it doesn't matter like what type of question it is i think that's how you do a best friend tag i don't know oh i i feel like I, it's a mood today i wear an all black anyway it's a mood and then next and not by least next but not by least but i We're just gonna put my setting spray on. I'm gonna do two. And then I'm gonna do a matte one. One was by Edward K and one was by Milani. So let's let this dry. You guys, this is my cut crease. So I hope you guys like this cut crease. I mean, I hope you guys thought it was like easy so you didn't have to do the um, concealer if you're not good at concealing because I'm not good at concealing, especially when I do my cut creases or my hair cut creases. That's all I try to perfect my um, cut crease when I do my eyeshadows so I don't have to do too much. So it'll be easier for me. So I hope you guys thought that was more informational or a lot informational or not informational, you know, you can't please everyone. <laughs> but I hope that was informational for you guys so you guys can make that cut crease super easy for you guys I think it's easy for me it is a little easy but I hope you guys liked the video please like comment and subscribe to my channel that'd be so awesome actually and if you guys want all my uploads every Monday and Friday please hit that bell notification it's either on this side or this side I want to say it's on this side I want to say so you get all my uploads every Monday and Friday are just said that at 3 p.m. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, because I know I did. I know, it's like, the first part I was kind of, like, just talking and not being myself. It's just because I do have a lot on my mind. So, what's coming to end? So, if you don't if you don't think I'm, like, I'm, like, really happy, I truly am. And plus, if I'm not happy, I will not film. Honestly, I won't film. I'll also film the next day just to be in my creative mood. So, for the ado, you guys, thanks a lot for watching my video and i will see you guys monday yeah so see you guys monday with this video bye guys see you next time